Hey guys, RC here back with episode 76. I decided to go ahead and just come back for the season finale. Let's get this season out of the way. We have been in a run of some pretty good form, damn it. <laughs> so after the Burnley win, we beat Aston Villa 1-0. Isa Chikwuma with a goal. Bournemouth, we took down 4-1. Steve Witt. Mark, Matt Ingram, Mark Ingram, Mark Ingram. It's an NFL football player if you're not familiar. Nicholas Narte and Isa Chukwuma with a 92nd minute goal. Then we beat, we had a draw with Wolves. Uh, Amat Donjuma again scored. We gave up two early ones. And then Andy Vernon got a stoppage time equalizer. So we got a little lucky there. We beat Everton 2-0. Donjuma got a brace. Chelsea, top of the table. They also have clinched the Premier League title. We beat them 2-1. to one. Ling Kumpang and Don Juma, who has been just on a tear. Leicester, 1-0. Czech Wuma again. And then we just drilled number two Man, Man City, 5-1. Czech Wuma, a brace. Oscar Melindo, a brace. And then we got an own goal off of Ederson in stoppage time. Insane that we were able to win. Uh, you know, that was 7-2 to two combined score against the top two teams in the league. So we are in eighth position solidly. That's what, five? That's eight points. So we can finish no worse than eighth. I think that's pretty damn good we have avoided relegation so they are very happy with that we've got a shot no shot at europe no shot at uh, at champions league um but we've got a shot to finish seventh if we can get over everton we've moved to plus eight in the uh goal differential and let's take a look at the squad so Chukwuma is up to 12 goals in 32 matches uh, after his run lately. Coelho, 9 in 27. He had gotten injured. Chukwuma has just been lights out. So, yeah, he's, let's see, just out of two, three, So he's got three in the last three matches. Now, Danju Danjuma is the other guy that has just gone on a tear. He's up to seven in 22, and that's playing as a winger. But all of his have come recently. Uh, not very happy uh, with with um, championship lead, the championship this uh, this week. Uh, boy, the, the the Aston Villa Leeds match this morning was a horrendous affair. Uh, looked horrible from a uh, both teams. Both teams played, you know, street ball. Um, the the official was was horrible. Um, anyway, uh, of course, Easter weekend we you know we dropped all six points and that uh, has cost us automatic promotion. So we're settling in for the playoffs. So I guess the only good news for that is I'll be able to watch the Wembley matches uh, on TV. I'm assuming. Anyway, let's get into the season finale: Brighton and West Ham. So let's start it off. So we are favored. We've only won one match. Again, this is since the. Whenever you see these statistics on my saves or anybody else's, these are over the life of your save. So I started this with Infield Town, moved to Barnet, and now at West Brom. So over all the years, uh, they've played eight matches, and Brighton have won six, lost one. So we are favored. We're at home. We've got Gusty Wind. I kind of want to take a little bit more defensive posture. 
this is I've actually played all three tactics over this run, and they've all done very well. We've we've been winning with all three. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. A lot of times it's just based on the weather, how big of a favorite we are, if we're at home or on the road. Um, I would probably play the 442 if we were more heavily favored or if the weather was better. But being that we have the gusty wind, I just want to uh, yeah, just want to play it a little tighter to the vest. So let's get to it. We have ha we do have some match congestion, so uh, we are playing some younger players in this one. I, I wanted the top people against uh, Man City, which is you know what I planned. So this should be a more manageable game against Brighton. Brighton Hove Albion. Trying to see. Who, who breaks it in? All right, Dan Juma crossed in, headed out. Vernon takes a touch, pops it in for his fourth of the season. So his last goal was that 92nd minute goal. Fourth on the season, puts us up 1 0. Good job. It's two shots, two on target. We've had some players playing. Up into the nines, which has been insane. All right, Holgate over to Botang, up to Green. Well, the tackle forces him back into Garner. Young back to Garner. Young, I think it's Young. Sandro, you know, the only time I've ever heard Sandro, there's a guy. Ooh, just wide. If you've, uh, it's called Wicked Tuna. It's a, uh, it's on Discovery Channel, and he, uh, he's one of the fishermen. Uh, I think his name is Sandro. All right, that one was off target, a little high. All right, we're gonna praise. Uh oh, dangerous over the goal. Whew. All right, they've got five shots. Vernon puts it around. Oh, what a save by Posevic. 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 That was a save and a half. Wow. Gotta like that. All right, they make we make them dance a little bit to get the ball out of the defense. Uh-oh, uh-oh, danger ball, and it's in. Oh, Botang, Arch, Arch, Archimpong, second goal of the season. Not, not happy there, fellas. Damn it. Get creative. Show some passion. All right, they're handling it. They're doing possession. Struggled for possession in the opponent's half. All right, let's move to that. Still keeps our defensive mid. Everybody else can work in those slots. Prove a point. I don't think we'll have a proper kickoff highlight. Nope, we fade into oblivion. Come on, fellas. Let's demand more. All right, Ingram, back to Hefty. Vernon, out to Nyambi. Oh, he's looking. He's looking flustered. Into Chikwuma. Oh, Nyambi in the box. Another good save knocked away. Sets up a corner. Um, let's go 
go ahead and bring Sobe on there. All right, headed out, knocked down. All right, there's our first sub. All right, hefty. Joe Cooper, not a guy I'd like to bring in. He's a little younger, young midfielder. Get creative. All right, Grabara. Out to Alvarez, building from the back. Oh, well, so much for that. Just hoof it up, man. Ramadan. I had a, uh, who was, was that with infield? Oh, what the fuck was that? Adam Ramadan with uh, infield town. Another Ramadan for one of my clubs. I just noticed that. He's not a regular. All right, we play it all the way back. Oh, don't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Yeah. Oh, no. What the hell was that? Shit. Pussy footing around with the ball. Oh my god. Um let's bring Coelho in, get some fresh legs up top. We aren't even marking people. All right, good tackle. Another good tackle. Brady, man. Brady's all over it. Bobby Brady. Pretending he's Tom Brady. All right, Don Juma makes a, makes a run, holds it up, crossed in. Chikwuma puts it in the net oh, right before he goes off. Very good. Equalizer. Equalizer. All right. Praise. Oh, they're overwhelmed. All right, we'll settle for a draw, it appears. Yeah, just just yeah, just keep heading it back and forth. That works. All right. Get it up. Come on. Damn it. Played around with it. Well, let's see. 12 to 10. We came back for possession. All right, we did, you know, we did okay, but we still should have won that game. Yeah, so it is disappointing. I I'm, I'm going to agree with that. Honors even. Oh, Zhang Zengi made his debut. Is he the, uh, I know he's Chinese, but is he the, yes, 17 caps. He's just 18 years old. Oh, Bobby Brady, $18 million. Oh, by the way, let's check out. I did make a couple of transfers. Well, they're they're coming in. We have uh, we have signed uh, Eduardo Perry, an 18 year old wing back, right back, and Stuart Coleman, a 22 year old center back. They'll be joining uh, at the end of their respective seasons. Coleman's a younger guy from Tottenham, uh, 850 thousand, three million for Perry. He's He's going to be pretty good. I think he's going to be uh, in, in the mix to start for us. Uh, let's see. Hefty has two offers. We've rejected those. All right. Well, we will be back. Uh, we have eight days left for the final match. So we will see you guys back in just a minute for that. So we are back for the season finale. Let's get into it. All right. We are on the road. Against West Ham, we are favorites. Breezy. I'm going to go ahead and gamble here. I don't normally play this tactic on the road. Do 
do it for the fans. All right, we're in the blue and white. Ugh. Come on, boys. Both teams with a shot. Ooh, danger ball. We got that one on target. Come on, fellas. Push forward. We're controlling possession. All right, Donjuma. All right, Nardi picks it up. Narte tries to turn the corner, can't make it, plays it back. Nobody up there making a run. All right, nice defense. All right, brings it back up. Ingram on the right side, plays it deep to Wit, crossed in. Narte, put it in. Yes! Nicholas Narte, fifth goal of the season. Get in there, boys. All right. Some good ball movement there. Good defense to turn that around. All right. Not a lot in the way of shots. Not a lot I can do about that. Not right now. And I, you know, we're playing okay, so I don't want to mess with anything. Oh, there's a, there's a nice ball out to wit. Ooh. All right, Narte. Oh, what a ball in! Get it? Yes, Danjuma makes the run. Number eight on the season for the winger. What a ball. I I don't know how that one got in. I have no idea how that one got in. I thought the keeper had that one all the way. Oh, man. What a goal. All right, we'll praise that. All right, Alvarez up to target, into Coelho, plays a deep ball, turned around, building from the back for West Ham. All right, Wilson has to hold up, three on one there. All right, Witt goes back to get it. Ingram cuts it inside. Chakwuma reverses field to Donjuma. He cuts inside, taken down near the box. Narte puts it in off the rebound. Little one of those. It's nice to see sometimes when you do that slide tackle and it goes right to the other guy. It's nice to see that that can happen for your side, not just against it, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, so Narte, two goals and an assist. Um, Nyambi, Andy Vernon. Actually, I don't have anybody playing up at those positions right now. Olmo. Let's go ahead and bring um, let's bring him in for Chikwuma. Actually, he can play mid left. Let's bring him in for Dan Juma right now. And defensive left. No. I could bring Kunpang back. Defensive mid 
right, coon paying for target and then uh, Melindo yeah let's go with him just give a few guys some playing time we're up 3-0 Kuhn Pang looks for the top bins can't find it all right let's go with uh, no pressure they're calm confident looking good Um, Nyambi, let's go ahead and bring him in for Alvarez. Come on, fellas, close this down. Let's tighten up. Olmo looking for the top bins. All right, Kuhn Pang. God, throwing in is so difficult. Oh, what a save by Grabara. Wow. Look, they throw it right to their guy. We throw it right to their guy. Grabara with another save. Good finish to the season, fellas. Good finish to the season excellent efforts all right let's go ahead and get to oh no we sent him into relegation on the final game oh how bad was it oh i'm gonna feel horrible here i think well they needed a win they needed a win to stay up so, goal. I was wondering if goal differential played played a role. It did not. Okay. Well, all right. Two goals and an assist. Definitely superb. We pick up forty million dollars. How nice is that, huh? Huh? Forty million bucks. Boom. At one point, they had one hundred and forty-three million. Wow. That is crazy. So we pay two million out of forty million in bonuses. Curtain comes down on the Premier League. Training schedule for upcoming weeks. I want to get up to the awards and whatever all right so initial payroll 99 million and a 76 million dollar transfer budget i don't know that we're going to be able to do anything though right i think you know because we're if we if we want to build money we lost three million this year Take out the forty million we just got, so we lost two million this month, just this month. So we're gonna have to weed a few players out. So let's kind of talk through what we want to do. West Brom under twenty threes avoid relegation. I think our U eighteens were in the Premier quarterfinals last I noticed. All right, here we go. All right, end of season awards. There we go. All right, Matthew tar Target, 34%. Chikwuma, 28%. Chikwuma, goal of the season. Bobby Brady, the signing of the season. He may not have been the best. I think it was more lack of options. <laughs> and Chikwuma, young player of the season. Average attendance was 99% full. 35 players used, highest in the premiere. And that's not unusual for me. I use a lot of players. Finished eighth. All right. End of season meeting. Uh, let's see. We're going to qualify. What? 
Too ambitious. Wow. Wow. Don't like that. Don't like that in the least. All right. So the board's only at 64%. Matches are up. Tactics are up. Transfers are positive. There's really nothing dragging me down. All right, we'll come back in five weeks. We've got the two new players coming in. And I don't think there's anything else to look at right here. Oh, Liverpool fires Zidane. That's a, a shocker. He should have been fired after we beat him, probably, right? All right, annual youth set up, so we're still a Category 1. Eight, nine million dollars. I'll go back and look at that. Dan Juma ended up starting 23 matches. And he went on that scoring run, right? Oh, well. All right. So he's valued at 43. He's under contract. You know what? I'm going to offer him to other clubs. Let's put him out there for 64 and 30%. Boom. All right. All right. Well, there you go. Transfer request. Kiss my ass. All right, so what do we need for next year? Um, all right, here we go. So let's take a look. I was happy with Grabara, but I would not mind a, a top flight keeper in the least. Now, how did he do this year? So, four, uh, let's see, 14 games, 13 goals allowed, five shutouts. Played a 7.02. So, he's not horrible, and he's only going to get better. Right? He's 28. He's got four caps for Poland. That was a stupid freaking goal that he gave up, but still. Um... Rushing out, throwing, passing. I could still see an upgrade there, but we may just have to live with that. Um, he signed for another year. I'm really looking at people that haven't played. So his contract's up in a year. He's valued at $10 million. I'm probably going to get rid of him. In fact, let's go ahead and uh, transfer. Offer to clubs. He's valued at $10. let us drop that to uh, $17. And 20%. All right, Garcia, 32, 12, 36. Matt Ingram, I could see letting him go. Now, Steve Witt's going to leave, right? Because he's, he's on loan for Man U. Ingram, Narte. Uh, let's see, team report, team depth chart. This is the one I'd like to work towards. I think we're okay at striker. I would like an upgrade at right winger. I think we're not bad here. Vernon is on loan from Arsenal. I wouldn't mind getting another midfielder here. I really think we need an upgrade at defensive mid. That'll probably be a priority. And I'll need another left back. 
I think these guys are okay. Alvarez, I mean, he's as good as he's going to be. Garcia, 26. He's as good as he's going to be. I would like some guys that have some upward potential. Um, I think Hefty I need to get rid of. I mean, he's not horrible. He's not horrible, but I think I can upgrade him. It'll just really depend on who we can sell, how much payroll we can free up. I know I've got room, but... I need to kind of keep this to where we, we are profitable. That's the goal. Uh, by the way, we finished eighth. Okay. English championship. And is fifth and sixth, is that Europa? I think. Let's see. Continental. Top four teams, Champions League. 5th and 6th, Europa. 7th is Europa. 2nd qualifying round. Oh, so man, we finished one place out of Europe. That's that's too bad. But from where we started, because remember, we were 18th in the table when we started. I think we did a great job. So they should be happy with me. Uh, do I need a... No, uh, do I have a, I'm on my B license. Okay. I don't know if I'm in, I can't ask for one right now. Might be because it's in the off season. But I would like to work on getting my A qualification, right? All right, guys. Well, let me know what you think of the season. I think we did a great job. Keeping in mind that West Ham game right here was our first match. We only lost two matches, three matches, the whole time I was here. Very, very happy with that. All right, well, I'm going to work on getting to the next season. Uh, so I will be doing that while you guys are watching this after I get it uh, put up for next week. And uh, so, yeah. Hammer that like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we will see you next time. And I look forward to some insight. Uh, do you think there are some moves that I should make? I'll throw this back up here uh, if you want to take a look at it. Uh, let's look at our starters. So that way you can kind of see star ratings. Keeper, I think, is a position. Defensive mid for sure. And striker, I don't think we did too badly. Uh, goals, let's see. Thir well, 13 goals and 9 goals. But a lot of those came after I started because, remember, we were in negative goal differential when I took over as well. Uh, Glenn Craddock, he's on. Oh, he's on loan at Nottingham. Dribbling, finishing... He's 21. I could see get trying to work him into the. I mean, he's got three and a half star. Hmm. Do we try to work him in next year? I mean, he's he's maxed out, you know, currently. You know, all he can do is develop more. And I think we have better resources for him to do that. But I don't know if he's good enough to start at two and a two and a two and a half stars. Two and a two and a two and a <laughs> get it out, man. Get it out. Uh he needs to go. But again, he's not making a crap ton of money. Anybody at contract expiring? He's not my wow. Would we like to sign him though? His contract does expire soon. Gets forward whenever possible. Runs with the ball. But he only started five matches. Dribbling, first touch, free kick taking, passing. See, I, I, I think he's more of a, you know, like a ball winning a playmaker, advanced playmaker maybe. Uh, if we look at our tactics... 
for this one. Pick with no restriction. What's the deal? Why can I not? Okay, there we go. So yeah, it says he should be roaming playmaker in that fluid. And that's kind of what I'm going for. Roaming playmaker says the heartbeat of his team driving forward to spearhead attacks, always offering a passing option, physical attributes to maintain high intensity. So physical and technical. Uh, if we put him in as a advanced, uh, well, no, actually that would be a roaming playmaker. Can he not play that? Physical, stamina, technical, I think he's all right. Definitely a good passing option, technique, vision. I like him. I wonder if we could try to... wonder if we can he's valued at 18 I'm gonna offer less because he's end of season a hundred and sixty four oh he has a new contract okay cancel can't afford it. I guess I need to pay attention to that shit. All right, well, I'm going to get into contracts and looking for players and scouting and everything else. So we will see you guys next time. Thanks for a season here and hope to see you back next season. Take care. Bye.